back today. We're doing another crock pot meal because they're my favorite. And they always make leftovers. And then we eat leftovers for lunch. And then it saves money. So, I um, I don't skimp and I do use the crock pot liners. And yes, I know they cost more money than if I was just to wash it out. But um, time-wise and water and everything else to wash the crock pot, it's just easier to do. Just saying. Especially if you buy them in bulk at like Sam's or Costco. Or even Amazon. Alright, so today we're doing Olive Garden Chicken and I'm, my way of doing Olive Garden Chicken. So this is what we're doing. I got this big pack of chicken. Yum. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it into two meals. Chicken. So we're gonna put about half of them. Three big pieces. Actually, I might have to do four. So it's only these two packets of. By the way, real world, I forgot to put the cheese in when I was talking to y'all. But um, I have these two packets of cheese mixes that are left over from. Probably a meal kit that I didn't end up making the meal because we're in the middle of moving. So we um, used all the ingredients, though. We yeah, just made it into something else. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're using the ingredients and turn it into something else. I have a two-cup bag of, of mozzarella. I'm probably only gonna do about one cup in here now. Mm, look at that. Cheese. And then <clears throat> I have parmesan. I like to use grated Parmesan, but Amanda makes it different than I do, so. I, well, you can. A little bit I different. like to top it with grated Parmesan, but I like to add in the shredded Parmesan because I think that it um, melts better. I don't know why, but I do. So about half of that because we actually don't have any grated Parmesan. So if we want some for the top of our pasta, you're going to be stuck with this today. I'm gonna leave this just like that with all the cheese sitting on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put the lid on it and we'll be back later. <laughs> 